Hype trains on Twitch are great, but do you want to have more control over them when they hit? Well, guess what? I know how, and I'm about to tell you, and it's really easy. After watching this tutorial, you'll be able to bring your custom overlays to life with hype trains from Twitch. And guess what? You folks who still use slobs can use this as well. So let's go, let's learn some shit. So welcome to another Duty Beard OBS tutorial. Finally, it's been like a million years since my last OBS tutorial, and I'm really sorry. I promise you I will make more on this channel. I promise you. So before we begin, here's a few life updates and fun stuff. First of all, thank you 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I am so thrilled that you guys like my OBS tutorials. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for all your likes. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for everything. I know there's a lot of different kinds of content on this channel, and that is going to change. Because the last few months, I've been actually making a whole bunch of different channels. I have one channel dedicated to video games and all of my Twitch gameplay. That includes special events on my channel, like our speed dating, who wants to be a millionaire, and any other crazy game shows that I come up with, or any other great streams that I've had. I have one YouTube channel for IRL, for vlogs, for fun things that I do with food, for weird food combinations. I have one channel for... And even one for weird comedy green screen sketches. Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. I'm better, actually. All the links are going to be down in the description, but while you're at it, please consider giving me a follow on Twitch. It's my main content gig and I stream almost every day. I might even be live now. Come let me know that you came in from YouTube. I will love it. I promise you. It is my main content gig and watching me there is the freest and easiest way to support me and even this channel. Here's a little uh, clip for context. I want to be the Elsa looking bitch. Elsa. <laughs> and finally, speaking of support, I'd like to mention my sponsor, NordVPN. Is there a game not available in your country? No problem, just change your virtual location. Unblock your favorite games and geo-restricted server. Find discounts available in other regions. With over 5,300 servers in 60 countries, that's gamer heaven. Use code DUTYBEARD and start your two-year plan with a great discount today. Okay, let's do the tutorial. So I'm basically gonna walk you through the very basics of StreamerBot and all the stuff that you should know for alerts and channel points and that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're like me, you probably like to skip ahead and learn everything by yourself and you might figure out everything really fast and for that I congratulate you. Again, it's very easy to figure out but a lot of this stuff can be kind of overwhelming so please follow along, trust me. So here's StreamerBot, just uh, download StreamerBot and open it up and it should open up like this and all the links obviously will be in the description. Uh, there's a lot of tabs up here going across that I don't use like voice control or hotkeys. You guys might have more functionality and use for that but I don't. Um, and there's probably stuff that you'll see that I might never use but feel free to, to mess around to do everything that you know what to do. Uh, also, very important, you might need OBS WebSocket plugin for this. I don't know if you do. I already had it. I didn't ask any questions. Uh, it's probably a good idea to download it anyway, and I will put that download in the description for you. So, I got gotcha. you. Duty's got gotcha. you. And like I said before, this will work for Streamlabs OBS or Slob. So, uh, if you haven't changed to OBS Studio yet, you're good, but you probably should change to OBS Studio because of all the other cool plugins and all the other functionality and lots of other reasons, but, you know, don't take my advice. I'm not, I'm not trying to govern your life, you know, Just don't take my advice, like don't, it's my, I'm teaching you stuff, for, don't take my advice. Before we do anything, you're going to want to hit this big button down here that says connect to Twitch. This will connect to Twitch. And then you're going to want to go all the way over to this OBS or slobs uh, tab and then go ahead and connect your OBS. Mine was already on auto connect, so go ahead and connect. It's pretty easy. I think you should have web sockets in here for this purpose only, but yeah, pretty, pretty sure. So the first thing we're going to look at over here is the actions tab. The actions tab are all of your command lines for all the things that go on on your OBS. So you want to make a source appear and disappear, you put it in action. So they're pretty easy to put together. Uh, put the action in your OBS 
So for example, we, what's the easy one? We'll go to Patricia. Patricia is really easy. Uh, for Patricia, we are going to use an OBS source visibility state. We're going to add a little bit of a delay and we are going to uh, put that source visibility state back in. So how do we create an action? First of all, as you can see, all of my actions have groups, these little folders, very well organized because I have a lot of stuff on my OBS. So we take a, we go ahead and we right click anywhere. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add, right click add. We're going to call this Patricia test. As you can see, again, I have all my groups here and it does save them. It's really, really nice. So we're going to go ahead and pop it in Patricia and hit OK. So actions in StreamerBot are like the base of everything. And we'll go over that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and make an action. Go ahead and right click anywhere and hit add. Uh, I have a lot of groups. You don't need any groups. If uh, Actually, if you wanted to make a group, all you got to do is type in a name that isn't already a group and StreamerBot will make it so let's make let's call this new tutorial group and let's name our action patricia test since i already have patricia so now where is it new tutorial group has been made patricia test the action has been made let's go ahead and make an action so here's what i'm trying to accomplish patricia! i'm trying to make patricia here appear wait a little bit and then completely disappear so that it can be used again later. Once we set the sub actions for Patricia, we can finally assign this to anything, including hype trains. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do it. So like I showed before, we're going to right click in sub actions. We're going to add an action. We're going to go down to OBS and I think it cuts off. So listen, we're going to go to source visibility state. Now I have Patricia just about everywhere. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick the scene. The scene that I'm on right now is called YT Gameplay Scene, YouTube, YouTube Gameplay Scene. So I can record YouTube, obviously. So since I have so many sources, I'll show you a little trick. I'm looking for Patricia. I'm gonna go ahead and click over here and type P-A-T-R. And then I'm going to click this little down carrot here to pull down the menu and watch. It automatically finds in alphabetical order Patricia my source for Patricia. As you can see, I have tons. So I'm going to go ahead and click Patricia. And just like that, obviously the visible state to, to let it show, just like that, boom, you have your first step. Now, Patricia lasts about 17, seven seconds. Let's see how long she lasts. Nine seconds. So we're going to go ahead, want to go ahead and add a delay for 9,000 milliseconds. So right click, add action, delay. And we're going to go ahead and put that for 9,000. Hit OK. And now here's a really easy way to get Patricia to disappear once she's been launched. Right click your original, duplicate it, then double click the duplicated one that now appeared at the bottom. And all you got to do is change that state to hidden. It's so easy and amazing. I love it. All right, you have made an action, congratulations. Now, before I show you how to assign that action, I really wanna to touch on channel points for just a quick moment. So here's my channel points tab. It's really, really amazing. It's simple to look at, and there's a lot of really awesome perks about this channel points tab. Now, one really great thing that you can do from right here is pause or unpause any channel points that you have here. In addition to that, you can make full commands that stop all, most, some of your channel points. You can go crazy. This software is absolutely amazing. But before you go crazy in there, check this out first. There's some important stuff that you need to know. So when you take a look at your channel points tab, the first thing that you're probably going to notice is right here on the right side where it says owned, yes, and no. So what this is, is it's the difference whether if it's owned, whether you made it in StreamerBot is what that means, and you can make edits to it, you could change the cost, you could turn it on and off, or whether it was made on Twitch and you cannot change it from here. But there is a way to quickly make it active in here so you don't have to go through and do all your channel points over again in this bot. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're gonna go right here to I pooped my pants and wanted chat to know my most popular channel point. We're going to right click and duplicate it and as you can see it's going to come all the way down here uh with uh parentheses around it that says copy of course um 
When it's up here under owned, you cannot make any edits to them. You can double click and obviously you can see that it's all grayed out. It can't do anything. But down here, the the copy, I can make all sorts of you'll poop you'll poop your pants and tell chat. That's a great description, duty beard. Uh, there's there's all sorts of stuff that you could do in here. You could uh, you could uh, redemption skip skew. You can max. You can make a, a cutoff of how many these are gonna happen to per stream. You can cool it down in here. There's there's so many things you can do. So what do you do now? Because if you go to your Twitch, you're gonna see you have duplicates. You you have two channel points with one that says copy. Well, basically, I'll show you. Now, as you can see, if I go to my channel point reward, it makes the copy right there. It actually happens instantaneously. It's really, really, really fast, which is pretty cool. And all I have to do is delete the original. Kaboom. And then bam, I just have to change this and then bam. As if it never happened and I can edit it now in streamer bot and kaboom, just Kaboom. Kaboom. And then without having to do anything, it deletes itself from streamer bot. So that's channel points. It's pretty, pretty great. Now let's take that action that you made and assign it to some stuff so you know how to make hype trains. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead to the settings tab and then go to the events tab. And we're going to see all the fun stuff that you probably really want to see. Your cheers your subs, your resubs, your gift subs, your gift bombs. Let's go to Hype Train. And Hype Train, mine's gonna look funny because we have this inside joke on stream from this one song that we have called Sex on the Beach. But anyway, you see I have all these uh, things assigned in these buttons. And these buttons just come from actions I've made over here from the beginning of the tutorial. That means if somebody were to gift me a sub or give me a raid, let's go with gift sub, uh, I can assign my action right here. Remember the name of our action earlier, Patricia Test? Let's go ahead and gift a sub, generic type. See, there's all these different actions. I want you to check out these when you experiment with this bot because you can do so many things. You can have so many variations. But let's do generic, which means a random, you know, you just give gifts anybody a sub. Let's go ahead to Patricia Test. New tutorial group, Patricia Test, select. Boom. Now, watch what happens when I go over here to test it out. Gifted subs, one gifted sub. Hey, Patricia! Just like magic, Patricia appears. It's literally magic. It's literally magic. Now, since I now since I don't want that to happen, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button again and hit this clear button to clear the action that we just assigned to it. Now, I'm pretty sure that you're picking up on this, so if you have completely figured this out at this point, thank you for watching this. But before you go, I do wanna go over some of these hype train things that you're looking at. So the start of the hype train is obviously when the Twitch hype train kicks off. When it goes over chat, it says hype train. That's when this action will happen. As for progression, any bits or subs given during the train. For level up, you have the five different levels that you can assign. So you can pick one generic level up for all of the level ups for your hype train, or you can have individual level up pool actions for all of them. It's really, 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 really fun. See, I have a crowd yell. And then even when the hype train is done, you can pick an action for that as well. And that is actually everything. That's it. You can assign any kind of overlay or anything that you can do on your OBS to these hype trains and these actions and everything. And as you can see with all the tabs, there are a ton of stuff that you can do with this program. I really wanna see you guys experimenting. I want you to let me know what you guys have figured out. I wanna see your crazy hype trains. Uh, the last tutorial that I made with all this crazy stuff, everybody had animated scenes and sliding things off their, off their OBSs. And I really hope that tons of people have all these crazy hype trains. 
I'm really excited to put this tutorial out, especially because it's been the first one in a very long time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. I super appreciate you guys so much. If this tutorial helped you or if you enjoyed watching it or if you just like me, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Give me a comment in the comments, say whatever you want, ask me any questions about the tutorials. I really do try hard to get back to every single comment I can and answer your questions and your follow-ups. Uh, and I just thank you all so much. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join my community. We have an incredible community and thank you so, so, so much.